hello guys welcome back to trends i'm so glad to have you guys with me today if you're just joining for the first time please kindly subscribe and like all our videos um thank you so much today we have some juicy details for you guys um the first one we hear says that um, um there's this video from a man of god a prophet actually it goes by the name prophet Ivo samuel okay let me read what he said he said um please pray for nigeria it's urgent he said he saw three emergency emergency in three different states okay he goes further and said um he saw a country swallowing a country okay i think this is like a prophet it's like a prophecy you know he said he saw three emergency three emergency emergency in three different state of emergency three different states in nigeria so it's like saying everybody should be prayerful and hold and concerned what has been happening recently in the country i think we should just be prayerful because we don't know you know really things are happening in nigeria these days we need to be prayerful and all that um moving on Next one, some guys were arrested today in Ikorodu inside the hookah joint. Imagine. They said they were eating amala and then some policemen just came when they were eating and they were just arrested like that. I don't, I don't understand. Like seriously, I'm sure there's more to that arrest. Probably they were trailing that, those guys from, I don't know, probably they were been trailing them. I don't believe they were just eating and they didn't scheme to arrest them. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. So um that's that moving on the next one here says that um there's this student of aauh uh, Jassi university who committed suicide yes um it was a black thursday in the school as one mrs Ferromi me among me reportedly commits suicide by drinking a poisonous substance guys talking about suicide these days among this very common among our youths suicide these days and most times it's always related to relationship issues. I don't get why somebody will just, the thought will just come that you want to take your whole life. Because of, of what? Because someone left you. I mean, it's becoming too much this is among youths. And then if you find out what is the cause of this suicide, it's because um, relationship issues it left me for another guy. And then, I don't get it. Why should anyone think of committing suicide, taking your own life because a guy left you? Ah, like, the other things you put into consideration, what about your parents? What about your loved ones? You don't even care how they are going to feel. You just feel taking your own life is the next thing because I'm not trying to judge. I'm just like, ah, it shouldn't be. I mean, suicide should be the, like a no, no, no for anybody to just, I can't just allow the thought of suicide to come into you because of heartbreak. What about you moving on? Let this person see that you have become a better person rather than taking your own life. Ah, it's disgusting, honestly, and it's painful as, as well. Like, before they could rush her to the hospital, she, she gave up. It's so sad, really. Um, moving on, we all know businessman, Ola Kunle Churchill, Toto Dike Sexton's band. Okay, he made a post. Let me read this post to you guys. He said, the best thing about life is that everything I've ever lost has been replaced with something better. I have never lacked. I just transitioned. We all know what that phrase is talking about. Obviously, it's talking about Toto. Like, we, all, we know how he has been up and about with his new, uh, his wife. Um, we all know the story about Maureen and all that. So, I wanted about the relationship he's used. Just somehow, somehow, somehow that you just want to. It's amazing how you are with someone, you can't keep up this relationship with this person. You move to another person, then you are happy with that person. Are you going to say it's destiny or is it that you are not compatible with this person? And the moment you move on with another person, you are so good, you find out that you are better, that person is just like the way you wanted your relationship to be like. Anyway guys, I wish him best of luck on his new marriage relationship. Um, The next one here says that two guys were um, caught, 
today they were trying to be EFCC. They came to be EFCC. They were actually fake EFCC operators. They they came into an apartment and they were like scattering everywhere. Let me just read um let me read it for you guys. Two fake EFCC operators have been caught during an operation in Lagos. Like I don't understand why you want to impersonate EFCC and you don't think you should go into details. Do you understand what I'm trying to come out from here? Because as you okay, all these um American movies that I've seen, impersonators, they go like back to back. You f do your follow-up that you hardly know if you are fake or not. This ones they don't even know anything about EFCC and then they go about arresting people. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Ah, uh, it's so funny. They don't know. No, they have no clue about what EFCC looks like. They don't even have an solid ID. The ID they presented is fake. Because all that fake. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking about. And then they go about arresting guys that they are Yahoo boys. You are fake. You are arresting. Someone funny these days. Um, the next one here says that um, this actually happened in Ogudu, Ogudu, Lagos State. Um, let me read the report. It says there's this report that happened in Ogudu, Lagos. His wife had served this man, his wife served him food. He wanted both of them to eat together. She refused and he also said he's not eating anymore. Then the next thing, this lady smashed the place on, on, his, on her husband's head. Like, he served, um, she served her husband food. The man said he's not eating except they eat together. Do you understand? So, the, man, if, the lady said, no, I'm not eating with you. And the man said, I'm not eating. So, you serve the food. Let's eat together. If you are not eating, I'm not eating. So, the next thing, she smashed the plates. On oh, this guy broken face. I was like, don't get why. I mean, what if this guy has died? What if he has died on the spot? We prepared the food. Let's eat. I don't know why. What marriages is turning into these days? Like this is not even a case of abuse. It's not that, like the man is abusing her now. Like she's trying to defend herself. No, this is not the case. He said, I'm not eating. Should that be a big deal? Honestly, things are happening. Okay, um, there's this one here too. Like things are just different sad events are just everything. I don't know what's happening these days. These are evil, you know. Um, this one says um a boy lost his life after his friend ran over him with a car to avoid paying 30k. Can you imagine because of 30k? He actually ran over his friend with a car. He purposely killed his friend. He doesn't want to pay 30 hey guys this is so serious um i think that's all we have for you today thank you so much for sticking around see you another time bye